Uh, whether it's just for a few minutes or several hours, mm -hmm. you don't want anything to go wrong when you are not there. Joining us to share some tips and advice on the subject is Ryan Jaime from Ackerman Security. Ryan, hi. Hey, it's good to be here with you guys. Thank you for coming. What about equipping your house with things like, um, you know, making sure the fire alarms all work, mm -hmm. teaching your kids to use fire extinguishers? Is there a, a list of things that you feel is best to do um, for emergency preparedness? Yeah, actually, our, our old director of marketing had put together a really cool um, fire preparedness um, document, and it's something that we were sharing with with every homeowner that we could, regardless of whether we had done business with them, because we wanted people to know that there, were, there should be a plan in the home in case there's a fire, um, there should be a plan in the home in case there's a break-in even. And uh, those are things that need to be discussed probably on a monthly basis um, amongst the family. Right. I know when I was growing up, we always had a, in case of emergency escape plan. And, you know, it's something we discussed at dinner and we all knew that, you know, what, what to happen in case of an emergency, in case yeah. of fire. People think of emergencies, you know, when they think of um, things that happen in the home, most emergencies that happen in the home are actually fire related, Okay. you know, and, and, and not necessarily theft related. Mm -hmm. Ryan, thank you so much. Those yes. are all great tips.